My coverage of Computex 2017 is brought to you by Be Quiet, CableMod, Vertigear, and EVGA. Go ahead and check out the links below for more info. How's it going, guys? It's just me, chilling here in my garage. Oh, no, wait. I'm not, I'm not in my garage. I'm, I'm at the Inwin booth. They call it Winbot, Winbot, even smarter than you ever thought. Like what the hell is this even? Like what? I don't even I don't even understand. Well, the, actually, the guys at Edwin tried to explain this to me, and I still am not exactly sure why it exists. But um, rest assured, there will be a limited quantity of things that you could actually buy. It's essentially a computer case, of course. That's what Edwin's really known for. But it, uh, it it sort of turns left or right, and it can take pictures. There's like a pair of cameras at the front of it, which I honestly don't even know where the front is. That that's probably the back, actually. Um, so you can uh, you can hook it up to like uh, an Amazon Alexa unit and do some voice control. You can have it turn based on your voice, take pictures uh, when you tell it to, and then it can synchronize with your Facebook page and upload pictures to social media. So like I said, I don't know why we need something like this, but then again, this isn't really meant to be practical. It's just sort of to show the world just how crazy people at Inwin are. Now this thing is freaking beautiful. Uh, the Inwin's calling this the, uh, the don't touch. So I think um, I'm a big fan of the don't touch right now. Uh, unfortunately, it's just a concept. Probably not going to come to market, at least for now. But uh, the one thing that we're showing off is all of these addressable LED mounting plates behind the SSDs, behind the motherboard, behind the radiator solution, which is pretty much going to synchronize with addressable LED strips in your system. If you were to actually implement this into a, a more standard case, like the Inwin 10, 101 here, I think it would look pretty sweet. I think this is a great idea. Oh, I didn't even realize the power supply has one too. So um, obviously addressable LEDs is like the new thing. At first it was just RGB and everyone is going addressable now with, uh, with Asus and MSI and all the other board partners shaking things up. Look at those fans. I believe the fans are addressable as well. So that's, that's pretty sweet. I give it six months before we start to see these LED strips, not just from Inwin, but from every single case manufacturer in every single case that comes out in 2017 onward. It's just, uh, it's gotten out of hand, people. It's gotten out of hand. Or has it? Ah, uh, so sexy. Come on, light. Give me some of that glow. This is uh, the Gaming Cube A1. And at first I thought they said the GameCube A1. I was like, nah, bro, that, that name's already taken. But um, actually, look at this. It's a small form factor, obviously mini ITX. It's got a really nice white finish on the front. And this is all about aesthetics here. Sort of have like a transparent base that's uh, kind of unique looking. RGB LED, of course. Looks like it can do a number of different effects. And on the top here, you've got a super, just unexpected, really beautiful wooden finish. Power button to USB 3, audio, micro, um, audio and headphone jacks, USB 3.1 type C and it looks like you get some ventilation on the right side here. I believe that's a power supply or maybe that's just a no, that's a regular fan. That's an air fan. It's an air uh, case fan I should say. They're all all fans are air fans, Kyle. Come on. Get with it. Small form factor power supply. I believe they said it's going to come included. SFX form factor, 500 watt, 80 plus certified, I believe. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's an Inwin brand or it could be OEM, not sure. Not sure about that yet, but uh, here's just a look at the internal layout. You, of course, have room for a full-size graphics card. I'm getting their window all dirty. Hopefully they have a cleaning service uh, to wipe up all of my mess. And then we've got the rear fan over there. It looks like a 120. Looks like you might have, no, no room for a 140. Just a 120. 120 is all you get. Feel of it. But the reason I really like this case is because we've seen other, I've seen competitor cases that uh, are about this size that can fit this sort of hardware, but they neglect to put fan options at the bottom of the case for the graphics card. And uh, with limited airflow coming from the front, you really are shit out of luck if you don't have any sort of airflow going um, to your GPU at that point from that angle. So it's kind of nice that you have the option for two 120s right there. And uh, it doesn't look like there's any radiator support. So in case you were doing some, some custom water cooling, you might want to look elsewhere. But overall, pretty sweet Gaming Cube A1. Look for it very soon in a store near you. Now, you guys remember the 805, right? The Inwin 805. This sort of builds upon that. This is the 806. It's one It's one number higher, so obviously it's better. You can see they've uh, sort of taken after this nice little wooden theme here. Again, like we saw just with the uh, the Gaming Cube A1, you've got a nice wooden finish that goes all around. It's sort of a seamless, uh, sort of just one piece of wood that goes that wraps around the top and front and it just gives it a really stylized look. Uh, this will go great in sort of a, a modern home that's way more expensive than the one I live in. Uh, but look at this, tempered glass side panel, but where the hell are the little screws? There's no, there's no th thumb screws or anything to open this guy. So this is actually a quick release model. Uh, or a quick release um, design that uh, you don't actually need to mess around with the screws, which I really like because the one the bad thing, one of the bad things about tempered glass is that anytime you have to remove the panel, it takes a lot of time and you also risk getting fingerprints on the areas where the screws are. So with this, you get uh, just sort of a nice, clean, elegant and efficient solution for uh, getting into your system, maybe doing some service maintenance and things like that. 
Also, we've got uh, plenty of radiator support at the front there. Looks like a 240. No, that's a 280, yo. That's a 280, and uh, we do have some removable dust filters that are magnetic at the front and the bottom, so you get plenty of airflow there. Full ATX power supply, full ATX motherboard support. I would imagine EATX as well. 140 at the back. Is that a one? No, it's a 120. I can't. I can't even see. Is that okay? Just confirmed. That is a 120 at the back there. We've got a couple more 120s at the top. Doesn't look like you can do radiator support at the top, but definitely at the front. And uh, it looks pretty good. It looks like there's also some uh, options here for uh, reservoir, pump, etc. Altogether, a pretty solid uh, little system here in the 806. Kind of like just how there's a little bit of, uh, of space between the, the wooden panel and the chassis itself. Obviously, this is where a lot of the ventilation intake is going to come from. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at the top I.O. here. Look at how clean this is. Of course, you wouldn't expect anything less from the folks over at Inwin. You've got the really nice uh, aluminum finish. Even in really high-end cases these days, the I.O. is still sort of plasticky. And this gets a lot of uh, interaction with the user, right? You're plugging things in constantly. You're pressing the power button or reset. I usually rarely ever turn my computer off, but some people do. Uh, in that case, it's nice to have just a little bit more high-quality finish and, and uh, material when it comes to the front I.O. And it does match very nicely with the wood finish. God damn it, sexy. It's all sexy. Now, this is called Mars. This is a pretty interesting concept actually and I'm sort of looking forward to uh, maybe trying one of these out back at home but essentially what it is is it allows you to mount this sort of system here to any 120 millimeter fan It'd be cool if the you know that uh, they expand that a little bit but for now you can actually mount this to pretty much any fan in your system uh, you're basically mounting a fan to another fan it's like yo dog I heard you like fans so we put a fan on your fan so you can cool while you cool that type of thing but what's really cool about this is that you can sort of position it. it's on this sort of a, a multiple axes axes is and um, if you look over here you can actually position the fan in pretty much any orientation or position you want inside of your case for optimal cooling. Now, obviously, one of the hottest places in any gaming system is going to be the GPU. So here they've actually configured two of these guys, perfectly set to cool the, the back of the PCB and even where the, uh, the, the card um, intakes fresh air so that you can actually lower thermals quite a bit. This is pretty sweet, actually. Let me know what you guys think of this design. You know, obviously it's a little bit different. It kind of like uh, is eye grabbing at first and it might be off putting to some, but I think it's a really good implementation if you're just talking performance and cooling. And I really do like the fact that they've even added some a bit, bit more flair with an RGB or not RGB, but uh, just a red LED here with the red blade. I would like to see an RGB version myself personally. We'll see if they actually oblige though in the future. So stay tuned for Mars once again, coming soon. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for my coverage here at the Inwin booth at Computex 2017. I want to say a huge shout out once again to all my sponsors for making this trip possible. Cable Mod, Be Quiet, Verta Gear, and EVGA. Go ahead and check out their stuff in the description below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.